Here I have the game gear and it's running a Sega Monster cartridge, Double Dragon. The objective is to have player 2 and player 1 on the game gear doing co-op play together. The solution is basically to have the Mac Wheel Kit installed with the modern LCD screen inside here and it also comes with the facility to output RGB. As we all know, VGA is uh, 480p in resolution and over here I have a converter which converts the VGA to AB and we have the game here and now we will output by adjusting the dial at the side VGA to AB works really well and also I have the custom cable which is basically a game gear to game gear connector end on one end and the other end is basically a VGA kind of um, connector which allows you to hook up the Sega Master System controller Alright now let's test the whole setup to see if it works Ok let's start for player 2 Yep. This is the intro screen And the moment of truth, we shall see whether Prayer 2 works. Okay, try to hit punch. I think you are the red guy. Yep, you are kicking out. And I'm the blue one. Okay, I'm the blue guy. Yep, it works. Now what I'm going to do is to hook up the light gun of the Sega Master System to the same link cable to see if it works alright here I have the light phaser and squeeze the trigger yeah it works so basically this is this trigger here is light button one and that's why it works well, but if we're gonna break shooting games on the CRT, this light gun will require 5 volt supply to power the diode, the light diode inside here. And I've rechecked and confirmed that the serial part here does not supply 5 volts to pin 5, which is where the 5 volts should be. So pin 5 is this pin here, top right is pin 5 and it should have 5 volts and ground is this pin here bottom row second from the right so instead of cutting the cable in half and trying to feed 5 volt supply to this pin here using a power bank or an iPhone charger perhaps we could do that but I'm not going to break this cable so I figured that the best way is to have an extension adapter one of this this is um, homemade I have a female plug here and a male zero plug here and then I just solder them together like so and before I heat string it together I solder the white wire here to pin 5 pin 5 and the black wire here to the ground and yes this is a 78055 volts regulator so what's going to happen is the other end here is the mono plug female mono plug and this will go to the 10 volts power supply here and plug in the light gun at the the light gun and to here yep. that's it and then hook up everything so basically I have black cable here which will 
coil around the main cable and then this part here will go in here to the mono plug yep. alright let's try some light gun games and see if we could get the light gun to work well it turns out that besides the mod just now we will still need the Game Gear Ever Drive to play light gun games on our Game Gear more about that later but first let's open this up and set it up alright here's the Super Monaco GP cartridge it cost $2 on eBay and I'm going to open it up using the bit screw 3.8mm screwdriver and just open it up On it this way. Let's lock this. Okay, what we need is just the case, so we don't need the PCB. And there we have the case. And other drive is here. I'm just going to unbox it. Simple unboxing video. And look at that. Nice packaging with just the bare bot in there. Let's take it out. And the two holes. You should fit in just nice. Like so. The problem is because there's an SD card here, so we need to cut an opening. Alright, it's done and I have removed the Monaco game sticker and this is the card out here for the SD card These other drives don't take very high capacity so I'm using the 1GB micro SD here well, The other advantage of having an EverDrive is co-op play You could load a ROM onto the EverDrive which is the same as the cartridge you already have and then you can play co-op with your friend Now to test the light gun mod on the Game Gear I need to find a light gun game and load it on the EverDrive. So over here I have a few light gun games like Gangster Town, Operation Wolf and Rambo 3. If you notice the extension that says SMS, this is the ROM and the other file here with the extension IPS, that's the patch. In the light gun mod for the game gear, there's only one single player that is operating the light gun and by default only the player 1 port is allowed to operate the light gun as a single player. So the patch is required to swap the players in the game so that we could use the player 2 port to operate as a player 1 in the game itself. To apply the patch onto the ROM is easy. You just need to download a program called Lunar IPS. So Lunar IPS is a freeware can download it for free. The Luna IPS program is simple, it has three buttons and we only need to use the apply IPS patch here. When you click on the button, it asks you to select a patch. So in this case, I already have the Gangster Town patch file loaded in this folder called Patch Lab. Now I'm going to select this patch and hit open. And now it's asking 
or the ROM which you wish to apply the patch onto. Since I already have the Gangster Town ROM in the same folder, I could select it and click open to apply the patch. And there you go, it says the file was successfully patched. And now I could copy that same file which is modified to the Ever Drive. Alright, we have the light gun mod, we have the Ever Drive, and we are ready. Alright, I'm going to try Rambo 3, which is already patched. Alright, let me output that to the screen here. That's all I have. Thank you for watching and bye for now.